So this is the solar hot water panel prototype I've been working on here at Long Way Home uh, in the Guatemalan Highlands. It's um, very basic design. It's just two bits of galvanized steel sheet uh, bolted together. You can see the little bolts in the middle there to stop it from ballooning out. Um, and then it's just um, wooden bolts around the edges to, to batten that down, lock it off. Um, clear plastic on the front, bits of PVC plumbing um, for the in and out, and then just going up to this basic thermosiphon, uh, thermosiphon tank up here, which has the cold water coming in to the bottom, and then hot cold water going out from the bottom to the panel and then hot water coming in from the panel and then hot water going out from the top um, on the other top down to down to the shower so um, and the only sort of like wrinkle we've put on that is um, the float valve at the bottom and that's because there's a good reason why people don't make panels in this configuration just like two big flat sheets Put together and that's because of um, pressure if you plug this into the mains it would kind of explode because the, the uh, pounds per square inch aren't necessarily that high but these there's a lot of square inches on that that's 2.8 square meters of, uh, of panel so we've just got the water being fed from some header concrete tanks which you can just see around that behind that building there um, so it's only a couple of meters ahead, but it would still be enough to maybe damage the panel or maybe leak. Um, so we put the float valve on just to isolate the pressure out from the head of the top of the tank um, down to the down to the panel, and that's holding together fine. And the advantage of making a panel in this way is that it's super cheap and easy, and also very effective because your entire square meterage is um, has water right behind it, like in between the two sheets of metal. Um, this has, so currently it's about like 1 p.m. So it's about halfway through the day. Uh, it's been a quite a nice sunny day. Um, this water is now kind of painfully hot Ow. To, to touch. So it's about 50 degrees. Um, I had this up, so the hottest that this has been while I was testing it was about 80 degrees, which is hot enough to pasteurize water. Um, and that was without the cardboard insulation on the back and now without decent cladding, uh, a glazing on the front. Um, this box is then, once this is all locked down, going to be filled with insulation, with um, polystyrene and uh, pumice insulation. You can see that the tank's sitting on a bed of pumice there. So the everything that's here is about... Um, $40, 30 or $40 US um, worth of materials. We're wanting to get the whole, the whole price down to about 500 quetzales for a half-sized version, so like more of a home-scale version in a smaller tank. Because um, this is this is 220 litres, this tank, it's 55 gallons, um, which is a huge amount. Like it's, we, there's a lot of people working on site here, so like we need that much water here. But on a home sort of scale, you wouldn't need that much. Uh, we're also going to workshop this out, so like um, teach everybody how to make it, um, and give them the full list of materials and like where to get them locally and, and all that, so that people can make their own. Um, people can sell them, so it becomes like a sort of like a local sort of like cottage industry sort of thing. People can be making and selling these things, which means that also. Um, the people who have made it are also there to maintain it and to improve it, localize it, and all that sort of stuff. Um, we'll also be workshopping uh, my rocket mass heater design because um, cooking fire smoke is like a major problem here, as is like um, there not being much fuel to, to burn um, for for cooking. So and also just like heating of, of spaces and that. So it takes a lot of those boxes, and we're workshopping that out in, in the same way. And also, um, probably if I have time, um, doing a uh, basic two bucket sand and charcoal um, water filter because water um, water cleanliness here is is a big issue as well. So that's the yeah. 
So that's it. I'll be doing a full tutorial of this once the design is more locked down. But um, so far it's it's working pretty well. Um, the next version, like I say, will be half size, so just like one bit of sheet cut in half and then front and back. Um, but I'll also be using uh, angle steel instead of the wood. Um, like the wood works okay, but it just got a little bit more sort of like solid and robust with the steel, and the steel's cheap enough, and we'll have both options available. I'll be doing like a second video with results, so I'll be testing like the efficiency of this. And um, getting some numbers out and yeah.